It's time again for the Sanctuary of Reality in my comic review series. Today we feature the conclusion of the Palnu trilogy, Cerebus issue 16, titled A Night at the Mask. Cerebus remains kitchen staff supervisor and takes the job very seriously. His concerns that the Eye of the Pyramid revolutionaries will strike during the Festival of Petunias are mostly ignored by Lord Julius, who holds the masquerade in the pits as planned. Ellis and Turg, from issue 6, happen to also be there, attempting to steal a diamond from one of the guests. Cerebus spots the rebels among the crowd and engages the partygoers in a game of herring and onion dip throwing at the armed intruders. The masked leader of the Eye of the Pyramid slips out through a secret passageway in the confusion, as does Elis, who's just stolen the winged male diamond, and they're soon followed by Cerebus and Lord Julius. There, deep in the tunnels of the pit, a showdown occurs. What is the secret behind the mask of the Eye of the Pyramid leader? Is Cerebus content to remain Julius' guard dog permanently? The ending surprise revelation, the letter from Lord Julius' niece, is an important piece of backstory for a character that if I told you anything about them, it would spoil the ending. But it will come up again during High Society, I, I believe. As enjoyable as this issue was, I felt that Ellis and Turk stuff was just pointless. It was just there for added humor when the plot was already moving along just fine with Cerebus and Lord Julius. We didn't really need it, though it is nice to see some previously established characters again, even if they never show up once more. The world building is finally paying off. Still, I love this trilogy. When I first read through Cerebus a few years back, this was the point when I realized unequivocally that this is a great series. Not every issue is perfect, as you'll see, but artistically, the series is a constant achievement of the comic book medium and hasn't even begun to, to do all the, th the things it's capable of yet. Anyways, next time, Cerebus buys a cottage.